developing GOP lawmakers aware of new documents related to Hillary's phony dossier after Lisa Page deposition by Christina Layla for the GatewayPundit.com. House Judiciary Chairman Bob Goodlatte, Freedom Caucus Chairman Mark Meadows, Representative Jim Jordan and House Oversight Chairman Trey Gowdy are meeting with senior DOJ officials on Capitol Hill Wednesday to discuss the ongoing production of Spygate documents. According to Fox News' Catherine Herridge, GOP lawmakers have discovered new documents related to the phony dossier after Lisa Page's closed-door deposition. Lawmakers are aware of new records after the recent closed-door depositions from FBI agent Peter Strzok and his former colleague and lover, FBI lover Lisa Page. Catherine Herridge said lawmakers are now seeking records related to the controversial Trump dossier, an internal FBI file documenting bureau efforts to uh, verify the salacious allegations, Herridge continued. Other documents are related to former deputy director of the FBI, Andrew McCabe's memos that document alleged obstruction of the Russia probe. GOP lawmakers will also be discussing the FBI's use of an informant or informants during the 2016 election to target Trump's campaign. Catherine Herridge has more on this development Uh, GOP lawmakers to meet with the Justice Department officials, Catherine Herridge reports. We'll take a listen. Freedom Caucus Chairman Mark Meadows blasted the Department of Justice Wednesday morning before he headed into the meeting on Capitol Hill. Enough is enough, Meadows said. People need to be held accountable. Over the last 10 months, we've caught the DOJ withholding documents hiding text messages, ignoring deadlines, engaging in potential FISA abuse, defying congressional subpoenas, just to name a few examples. Enough is enough. People need to be held accountable. Totally agree with Mark Meadows there. Let's take a quick listen here. Surely two sources close to the discussions tell Fox News that lawmakers are now aware of new records after the recent closed door depositions from FBI agent Peter Strzok and his former colleague and lover FBI lawyer Lisa Page. Lawmakers are now seeking records related to the controversial Trump dossier, an internal FBI file documenting bureau efforts to verify the salacious allegations. Another set of records includes memos from Page's former boss, FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, that's said to document alleged obstruction related to the Russia case. The meeting today on Capitol Hill will include four Republican lawmakers, the chairman of the House Judiciary and Oversight Committees, Bob Goodlatte, Trey Gowdy, as well as Congressman Jim Jordan and Mark Meadows. Fox News has told the U.S. Attorney John Lausch, tasked by the Attorney General to handle congressional records requests, is also expected on Capitol Hill. Among the outstanding records, those documenting the alleged use of confidential human sources by the FBI in the earliest stages of the Russia case. It's important to note that these two committees, Judiciary and Oversight, now have primary jurisdiction on the Russia case. So in layman's terms, they're in the lead, Julie, with House Intel now referring the dozens of witnesses they discovered through their investigation over to those committees for future interviews. Julie. All right. Now, the House passed mm-hmm. a non-binding resolution, Catherine. Uh, will there be movement this week? Well, just to recap, on the 28th, the House did pass this non-binding resolution. It was along party lines 226 to 183, insisting that the Justice Department comply with committee subpoenas by July 6th, and that deadline uh, was not met. There remain outstanding records with some Republicans in favor of now taking the next step against Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, who oversees the Russia probe. They accuse him of withholding documents that will show when and how the Russia probe began and whether it was done on a sound legal basis. This morning, Congressman Stewart also said he's for accountability, but he cautions a measured approach. I think we're better to build the argument, to to actually have a debate on the floor, 
to present to the American people why we are going to hold him in contempt and to, de and to defend that action and to convince the American people, I think that's lacking in this process. And because that's lacking, I'm afraid it would be viewed as just a, another partisan, uh, you know, a partisan activity. Uh, the main justification for withholding some documents by the FBI and Justice Department is simply that it is not standard to provide these records as a result uh, or during an ongoing investigation. And we expect that meeting uh, up on the Hill just about three hours from now, Julie. All right. Well, we will keep a, a lookout for that, what took place. But I don't agree with uh, him. Who cares if they think it's partisan? Look at all the corruption that's been taking place. Look at that. And you have to start explaining over and over. I say, I say, uh, yeah, they need to be held accountable. We don't have to explain anything. After all of this, it's obvious. We don't have to explain. Explain what? That they're corrupt? Uh, anybody that, ha that isn't blind can see that they're corrupt. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.